Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Susan. Today we're going to be making a bell rose ring. All right, Susan. So the other day I was watching my favorite animated movie, mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast. Is it really your favorite? I, I love That's that cool. movie. That's yeah. cool. I love that movie too. It was actually the movie that made me pick up a pencil. Like the first time I've ever drew something was because of that movie. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, I, I love that movie. Uh, um, so mm -hmm. I was just thinking, like, what if we made something that kind of along those lines? Like we could make something kind of inspired by it. Inspired by it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I love that movie too. I love the music. Yeah. Oh my God. I love Belle. So yeah, like... What do you think we could do? Is there something that you well, think we could whip up? And... I have thought. Okay. okay. Um, I kind of wanted to make, I, I was thinking of the roses. Okay, right? yeah. That's like and, the iconic. Right. Beauties. So, my, and I was also thinking about rubies. Yeah, okay. So kind of red. Uh -huh. So how about a ring? Like a okay. rose ring with a ruby in the center? Ooh. What do you think okay. about that? I like that. I like, like that. that idea? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So something along the lines of a, like a rose, kind of like that shape or something? Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified of all of our future videos. All right. So um, I kind of have a prototype here because okay. I was practicing with this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and oh, wow. so you can kind of see what I'm talking about doing here. It kind of looks like a rose. Yeah. And that's my little bead. That's not here. a ruby in the center there. So this one is definitely a prototype because we want to okay. put a ruby in there. Okay. Um, but we're just it's it's really just a basic ring. But I made some rose petals around yeah. it, and we'll kind of yeah. make them and then spread them out and it's. Really cool. Okay. Yeah, really visually so, interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember the ring mandrel? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Remember that guy My right there? Friend. Yeah. Your best friend, the ring mandrel. Uh -huh. We're going to use that. We're going to use, remember, 20 gauge wire? 20 gauge, okay. And um, this is a new tool for you. Okay. It's, what is this about? Oh, I love this tool so much. It's, yeah. I know it's so silly. Yeah. <laughs> you love the movie. Yeah. I like the tools. <laughs> um, but that is kind of awesome. We all have our hobbies. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know? <laughs> um, but this is called an AccuLoop plier. AccuLoop, and, okay. Yeah. So you can see, see the numbers on here right here? Two, okay. three, four five six seven eight okay yeah. those are millimeters oh okay it's really cool because it's marked yeah and so, so you, know exactly you always know every time you wrap around that part of this round nose plier that you're going to make a two millimeter loop that's smart or a three smart. or a four or five six seven eight okay Makes sense yeah so and for these rose petals i wanted all my petals to be the same size right so um so we have that and then just you know your basic flush cutter there's one for you one for me mm -hmm. and then this is a you've worked with these before the chain nose oh, plier yeah. oh yeah right so your we flush cutter back. Your chain nose plier, smooth on the inside. That's just for squishing down little ends, and it's going to help us open up all those petals. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with about two and a half feet of wire. Two and a half feet. Okay. Mm -hmm, of twenty gauge wire. So I'll give you some. There you go. That's for you. Thank you. And I will take some too. All right. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to make two loops. Okay. Two identical loops at the center of this wire. Center, gotcha. So I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna find my three millimeter mm -hmm. on this, okay? See right there, right on my mark? Yeah. And I'm gonna wrap this around that three millimeter line two times. Just like so. So I just kind of grabbed it again. And you don't wanna overlap them, you want them to be side, side by, by side. side yeah. See how they're side by side mm -hmm. there? And then just kind of pull the wire out in each direction. Like that. Okay. So essentially, you just have almost like a double ring. Okay. Right, right in the there center. in the center. So we said three millimeters, right? Mm hmm. All right. So we want it right in the center. Mm hmm. And then that one just goes. And then go all the way around. All the way around. Yeah, like that. Mm hmm. Okay. So now we're going to make the ring. All right. You've done this before. Yes, uh, yes, this yes. Basically, whatever size ring you want to make, we have to kind of decide right now. Okay. And interestingly, on these wire rings, every time you make one, they have a tendency to shrink by about a size. Oh. So if you want to make a seven, you want to start on the eight. So you see that eight, eight line right there? Yeah. I'm going to start there because I'm trying to make a size seven okay. today. So if you want to make a smaller ring, like I know you have a niece. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know yeah. what size she is, but I'm going to guess she's little, right? Yeah, she's, she's, she's tiny. Probably like so a yeah, three or a four. she's probably going to be a three or four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'd start like at the five. Okay. Yeah. I am going to, and this is a little bit hard to do when you don't have something to hold on to, but I'm going to start there at the eight and I'm going to wrap the wire two times around the mandrel on one side of that one loop, side, yeah. okay? And then this other wire, I'm gonna wrap two times around the mandrel on the other side. Okay. Okay, so I essentially have four- Four loops. Loops, okay, you can see, four, not overlapping. Not overlapping. Okay, and then I'm gonna kinda turn this over and look and see what's going on here. I'm gonna get back to my eight. There's my eight, and okay. I'm gonna pull this- Pull that good and tight. Tight, and then I'm going to, oops, let me hold that tight just for a second. Can you hold that mandrel yeah. for me? Just make it, hold it back here for me. There you go. And then I'm just gonna loop it right there. And that's just gonna kinda hold everything steady. Okay. okay. Perfect, perfect. Right. So you get to that point and then we'll go on. Okay. 
So are you well, going for a four? So let's start yeah. at the five. Start the five. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Here, I'm going to hold so, the mango for you a little thank bit. Thank you. That kind of helps. Oh, that does help. And then these two go at the bottom. Mm -hmm. We'll wrap that twice. Yes. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to let you hold that. Mm -hmm. Don't. It's okay that it's loose right now because what we're going to do is we're going to take these wires mm -hmm. on the side and you're going to kind of push this through here. Push that through and I'm going to do it twice actually. Push that through and see how that kind of holds everything tight right there? Yeah, so you're pushing that mm -hmm. through and have that little loop there? Yeah, yeah. and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take this wire and I'm, notice I'm not I'm not trying to poke the end through. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually pushing through pushing. with my finger. It just it's a lot easier. Yeah. And makes everything a lot prettier and neater. So then I'm just gonna kind of pull on the other side like so, and I'm kind of making it nice and tight. And so I should have one wire coming out one side, one wire coming out the other side, and those are the wires I'm gonna use to make my petals. Now I have one that I kind of started so you can see what's going to be happening okay. next. So see all those loops? Yes. Those are my rose petals. Okay, we're going to do eight on one side and 12 on the other. Wow, okay. Okay, so I've started with four here and then there's another, um, what have I got right there? Six so far. Six over here. And mm -hmm. then you see right here in the center, those are my two original loops. See how I split them apart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is where your ruby is going to go. Uh, oh, okay, perfect. So mm -hmm. it's going to hold it's like a little setting there. for your ruby. Yeah. yeah so. What you do is you take the AccuLoop plier again. Okay, AccuLoop. And so I kind of like them to overlap a little bit. So I just kind of start wrapping and see how I'm pulling the wire around it? Yeah. As opposed to trying to make it yeah, wrap yeah. itself. So I'm holding it tight and then pulling the wire around like so and then kind of setting it into place. And so I'm going to grab right here and I'm going to wrap over that line around the plier and then just kind of tuck it in just okay. a little bit of an overlap and then make sure I pull well, that's straight, straight like that. So and pull, and that's four. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, 12 on this one, and then okay. we'll let you go, and then I'll do my your other eight, eight yeah. and then you'll do your eight, and that way we'll kind of be in a similar spot. <laughs> anyway, so I'm pull, I'm wrapping, and then I'm pulling it across the plier, and then in front of my mm. last loop, and then ah, around, and then I'm okay. pulling tight. Yeah. So what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to run out of wire. So mine's going to have 11 loops. You're going to put 11 there? Yeah. Okay. So see, I want to have a couple <clears throat> inches of wire left to finish off my ring on the side. Oh, I see. So I now see. it's your turn. Okay. Perfect. All right. And so then I'll do my others on the other side. So I would, I do 11. So. So that's good. So, so basically, you can see what I've got there. Yes. Got my row of loops on this mm -hmm. side, my row of loops on that side, and they're ready to go and be become a flower. All right. So now it's your turn. All right. Your other side. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah, right. it's great. It's great. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to open up this uh, these the two in the center and. I just want to open it up enough so we can fit a four millimeter ruby down in there. There we go. See how it fits right in there? Ah, kind of perfect. almost like I made a little setting for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't like that one. Let me, oh, okay. I'm going to be choosy about, <laughs> I'm gonna be choosy about my ruby, okay? All right. I like that one pretty well. I mean, it's your, it's your ring. You, know, you do right? with it what you I want. Pick you know? whatever ruby I want. Okay. <laughs> there, I like that one. So, so now to get that one in there, what we're going to do is we're going to do some this 28 gauge wire, which is really, really, really fine. Thin. Okay, like yeah. super, super uh -huh. thin. But the key to this is we don't want anybody to see this wire. We're going to hide it. It's going to be hidden underneath everything. Like you see my prototype, you don't. Yeah. It's so like what, it's not there. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? So you're going to trim a little piece of it, and so thread him on like so. And I'm just going to kind of pop them in the center of my 28 gauge wire. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to take those two wires and I'm going to go down through oh. these two loops. So the two tails kind of divide and go through. Mm -hmm. Dividing one on one side, one on the other. And pull it down into the side. Oh, perfect. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to take this one on this side and I'm going to wrap it kind of around right there uh -huh. and around right here. 
And I'm going to cut it off on the top on sides, yeah. because we're going to cover that up. Because it's going to cover with the petals? Mm -hmm. The petals and the, the last wrap are going to cover them. So you'll, that's just not, I don't want it inside. I don't want anything poking me on Gotcha, yeah. And that's then on this it. side, I'm going to really pull tight. Make sure it's good and set in there. Yeah, to make sure it's really set in there. So let me make sure I've got that in there. So I'm just going to kind of pull it tightly down into my piece. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to wrap it a couple times around here and just to secure it. Just make sure it's good and... Yeah, good and secure. Locked into place. Mm -hmm. So boom, it's gone. And you know, if you want to, you can take your little chain nose plier and squeeze it down. But nobody will ever see that. So there we go. So there's our setting in the middle. All right. Okay, so now you can put your ruby in and then we'll finish it off. Perfect. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Now, do you want to know what's going to happen? You were like, what's going on? Yeah, so, now. Yeah, this okay. Is, uh, <laughs> this is where it gets a little tricky. Time when things get a little tricky, yeah. Yeah. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap these petals around the center. And the, this inside one that I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to go kind of tight right up against my ruby. Yeah. Okay. The first one's tight, okay. Yeah, right up against that ruby. And they'll be a little bit, they'll look like you're like, oh, that looks so tight, but we're going to, you know, spread them out after this. Gotcha, and okay. so then this one is when I finish right on this side, this is where I'm going to finish off this wire. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to wrap it around. So you see why I needed a little bit. Yeah, you need that, that extra space, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I got it as tight as I wanted, and I did. And so then you're just going to wrap this a couple times over the top of that 28 gauge okay. wire. Finish that off, and then you're going to run it through the inside here. So see that? Yeah. Two yeah. pretty wraps. Got two little wraps yeah. there. Yeah. And then you're going to take your flush cutter and you're going to trim it off. And I'm going to take this chain nose plier and I'm just going to kind of squeeze gonna that, that into that band yeah. so that you don't feel it. Yeah. All right. And then I've got the rest over here. But then you're going to go around this side with these guys. The opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then on the opposite side, you're going to finish this off over here. Okay. And two wraps on that side. And then all the way through, and see, I'm still once again I'm pushing, but I'm it's getting shorter. Yeah. It's a little harder, so I'm so just gonna, gonna grab it that. with that chain nose plier, like so. And then I'm gonna trim off on that inside right there, and press that in because I don't want anybody to feel that. And so right now everything is kind of just squashed up against my ruby. And then after you do yours, then we'll we'll spread out all of our okay. petals. Perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these little petals and we're gonna just kind of splay them out. So just kind of start kind of wherever any anyone looks like it's easy to grab a hold of and then just start pulling them out. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. With your chain nose plier. Just kind of pulling it out like so. There you go. So like you can use this yeah. guy right there and, and you can start doing yours. Start doing the same thing yeah. right here. I love this, yeah. Yeah. The setting's really, really cool. It's fun. Yeah. There we go. That was really fun. We did it. Yeah. We did this. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for your help. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No problem. Anytime. It was, really it was lots of fun. Uh huh. Well, thank you, Susan. Uh, I really appreciate you helping me out with this today. Mm -hmm. This was a really fun project. Can't wait to give this to my niece. She's going to love this. Uh, I think she's going to love it. She'll yeah. love that you made it for her. I know, yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is really cool, very unique. <laughs> no, it's so fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys would like to pick up some supplies, like the ones we work with today, check out the links down below. What's your favorite song from Beauty and the Beast? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell. And now that you know a little bit about making a bell rose ring, you can say, I made this.